He's got it. He's got it bumping. There he is. All right. There's like a pretty good little yellow tail here. Worked up here in Key West with Nick Melanoski. We're catching yellowtail snapper. We got the chum line going. We got the uh, reef in our back. Nick, what are we? Uh, tell us what we're doing. What reef we're on here? And we're off of the uh, off of the sandbows here, about seven miles south of Key West. And uh, there's a variety of fish here: yellowtail snapper, zero mackerel. It's a beautiful day here. It's the middle of January, and there's there's a nice assortment of fish here. Uh, we're using live bait, pilchards. A lot of fun. Yeah, we got some pilchards earlier this morning. We just come out here, set up a chum line, and just started chumming, and the fish are balled up here behind us like you wouldn't believe. Just take one of these little rods like this and drop it down, and you whack all kinds of different fish here, and these things are just pulling. Got a little blue runner here. Got a little blue right. runner here. Good bait, oh, yeah. huh? Yep. What was <laughs> that? <laughs> He's talking to Did you. Did you hear that fish? <laughs> He's screaming at me. <laughs> Get this hook out of my head! I like using big bait anyway. It usually produces big fish. There he is. That thing was just sitting there. Look at that sucker scream. Uh, yeah, and the plug was just sitting there. Looks like we got us a bar jack on now. These suckers got some run to them too, don't they? Go, baby, go. Is that awesome or is that awesome? What a run. Uh, you want to hook them right in front of the eyes, not through the eyes. There's a little cartilage, hard area there in the front of the head, through there. Just work the hook in there and it's like this, and he'll stay alive and swim along nicely out there for you. Awesome. Awesome little bait. There he is, he just smacked it. There he is, that's a little zero. There you go, buddy. Yeah, got him that time finally. Nice zero on plug there. Uh, I don't know, you hit it right underneath that. That's, uh, nope. Yeah, it is, a little Spanish. That's Spanish or zero? That's zero. Little bitty one. Those are the size of the Spanish we get up around Cocoa Beach. Yeah, see, he's got that, that line there. It's yeah. Yep. And one of these guys yep. bite me one time. It hurt pretty good. Yeah, they did. <sighs> yeah, you have to get those pliers on that. Let's get a little bigger ones here. There we go. Zero mackerel. Look at them teeth on that thing. It's got a head like a little miniature wahoo, it looks like. Yeah. And they make great wahoo bait too. Do they? Yeah. You got any wahoo out here? <laughs> Some out there. I don't know if you want to go. Nah, we'll let I'm him go. Sure though. See you, buddy. Finally got us a bar jack. I'm dying to show you one of these things. They are pretty fish. I never seen jacks that look like this. It's great being a, being a traveling around, seeing all different types of fish and the, the way they eat, the way you catch them. Pretty neat. Cijon! Little mackerel. Look at what's trying to eat him. I don't know. A nice cereal under. You got all kinds of varieties down here. You got the Ciro's. This guy here is back there whacking some lobster out of his lobster traps. He's a commercial lobster guy. Man, these things got some power, Nick. I'll tell you what, they're a great eating fish. They're a warm water mackerel, as opposed to a king mackerel or a Spanish. Now, are these, uh... These are, these are great, real great close, eating fish. Real close to what a, uh... To a Spanish like mackerel, a Spanish. but he's got the line on the side, and he's, they're, they're, uh, they taste, uh, they're not quite as oily. It's white meat, excellent eating fish. Well, I, got a, I got a great recipe for them Spanish. Oh, yeah, he's going, he's going, going in the fish box. Yeah, you can see all the fish back there. We got trigger fish, yellowtail, blue runners, cereal mackerels, bar jacks. Ooh, big cereals hitting back there. Well, I'm fishing on credit again. 
and then and then, right and, then I'll, and then I'll put I'll put the uh, you'll hook up instantly on this and then and then I'll put the plug on it. There he is. All right, Blair, where'd he go? Little yellow tail. You got a yellow tail on there. Yeah, this is nice here. Just right off the reef, there's a the ships used to wreck in the old days on that reef there, and then the reef runs parallel to the keys. Ow, Several spots one. it comes up almost out of the water. And they used to call it was uh, they called them wreckers. They used to move the lights on the on the shore and get trick the ships into into wrecking on the reef and then come out and salvage. And then it became known later on when it became honest business, it became known as a salvage business. <laughs> and they became certified by the Coast Guard. And, but uh, there were some hooligans in the old days. Like piracy, huh? Yeah. Of course, the Spanish uh, treasure ships used to wreck along here too, all the way to the Marquesas. They about got all those cleaned out now, don't they? There's still a, there's still some more gold out there. They, the, the, play, the planes used to <laughs> they used to practice bombing here during World War II out to the west. And Greg and I were out fishing one night. We pulled up a bomb, an unexploded bomb about this big. That was scary. <laughs> I bet. Would you have somebody? Did you call somebody in to come de-arm it or? No, we didn't put it on board. We just uh, dropped it back. We had it up. We had it on the anchor line. Actually, we pulled that up, was, pulled that up was, the that anchor. was their secret fishing lure. <laughs> we, did we, uh, no, we pulled up the anchor and it was extra heavy and there was, was a bomb on there. That's pretty wild. Yeah, it was wild. See that? Yep. There he is, right there. Don't know what it is. What a ball. Come out here and catch a ton of fish. A little zero. Nice zero, big one. Nice zero. That's going in the box. Zero That's mackerel. a nice zero mackerel. Key West, brother. Here you go, brother. You got him. I got him, huh? You got him, buddy. Nice little zero. There you go, buddy. Appreciate that, Nick. Good eating fish there. This is a blast, man. All these variety of fish out here. You can't beat it, brother. I tell you, if you like fishing, this is the place to come. Winter time, sweating. Here we are, middle of January. And I tell you one thing, this many different types of fish, that is addictive, man. All right, let's get this one in the box and get another one. Hey, y'all stick around. We'll be right back. Watch this. There he is. <laughs> that was fast enough, wasn't it? Is that quick enough for you? Check them out. What are those? Jacks? There's a bunch of yellowtail big balled up there. But There's uh, some big fish down there. See oh, that we get some bar, yeah, that's a big bar jack. See the cereal just switched by here? Yeah. These are bar that jacks? That was a nice cereal. Those are bar jacks. Uh, I never caught a bar jack. Once in a while you get an That's a good eating jack, by the way. What, bar jacks? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Real good eating. Jacks. Uh, and it's a good fighting fish, too. We get, uh, once in a while, AJ's come up on here. That'd be nice. Some good size AJs, they're always fun. A lot of variety here. What we got going on down here right now, we got some big bar jacks coming around here. We're gonna try to get one of these up on the line and show them to you. They're real pretty fish. Real pretty bar jacks. Nah, Nick here says they're pretty good to eat too, and I'm just, uh, never eaten a jack before. Unless it's been raw. There we go, here we go. Something ripping. There he is. There you go. Oh man. Now, there's this some power. Christopher Tross is probably the first spot here. There's some good power there. Ah, that's a nice fish. What it is. All right, Blair. Oh, that one's just sitting there. He ain't doing nothing. Big, big, big head shake. What is that? Big head shake. I can feel his head go. Oh, this is. Uh oh. This might be a shark. <laughs> I can feel his head going like this. That much motion. Well, it's a lot. It could be a black tip. Uh, stay yeah. with us. 
No telling. You may even may have had a grouper come up. They do that. Oh yeah. Black grouper. Yeah, they come up. Oh, that that would would big be yeah. Yeah. There, take brother. your time with it. Yep, there, yeah, there, he's going about. straight down. Yep. That could be. Just take your time with it. That's a nice fish. Maybe an AJ. Got your nice fish out there, buddy. I ain't seen him yet. There he is. There he is. Can't tell what it is yet. He's just sitting there. I don't want to put too much pressure on him. I got this rod tripled over right now. Yeah, we'll bend it too much. Got your nice fish on there. Oh, always keeping constant pressure on that fish. You don't want to give him any slack at all, even when you reel down to him. What happens a lot of time when you're using light tackle, a lot of people will get just totally impatient with the fish. And you, you just have to sit there and work him and work him and work him and work him. Yeah, I got him. I got him. But the big thing is, is just keeping that constant pressure on him and just wear him down, wear him down, wear him down, wear him down, and let the drag do all the work. This is a nice fish here. I have no idea what it is, but uh, I can't wait to see him. He wants to drive over there. Come on, Bubba. I saw him down there once. Good job there, Blair. Just keep take your time. Be patient with him. We got a nice fish here. It's a lot different from the flats. The flats they don't have straight down to run. Out here they just run straight to the bottom if they're that type of a fish. Normally the pelagic species, what they'll do when they run is come up on top of the water out there, like a triple tail, sailfish, you know, wahoo, anything that roams the ocean is called pelagic. You got some color. A little bit of color. He's you down may there. have an African. African Pino. I never yeah, caught a Pino. Call it yet. It could be a big jack or bow. He's, he's got that head well, looking it is, like a strong. jack. It looks like a big old jack. Yeah. Big jack. Nice job with night light tackle there. there. It's definitely one of my favorites there. Big old jack. Uh, put this away. We'll just. Oh yeah, Jackie nice, Cravel. Nice Cravel. There we go. Good release. Yeah, perfect. Nick Malinowski. Give him yeah, a call. Yeah, man, we're doing it. Key West, Florida. We'll put you on some fish. We'll be right back. We're gonna go try to get us a big old shark now. Go, baby, go. Is that awesome? Or is that awesome? What a run. Fixing to throw on one of these Ciro's favorite bait. It's one of these sand key pilchards. Awesome looking little bait. Let's see what it can do for us. Put him way back there. Look at that cast from here to Sloppy Joe's. Jig him a couple of times, get his attention, and wait for a couple of seconds. Ooh, big oh, big one. Oh, there, there we go. Oh, we got some Ciro. That's a big one. There oh, he is. Big one, big something there big. There he is. There he is. He was right there. There was free something swimmer, huge. Free swimmer, free swimmer. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, he's on, brother. There he is. Oh, that's a nice fish there. That's got some power. Look at that big giant swirl back there. Huge swirl. Should work this guy up. We sure took a good run. I sure hope this is a bar jack. He's not running down like a bar jack should though, is he? Let's see. Could be another big flag. I could go for another big flag. Which is also known in these parts as a yellowtail snapper. A large yellowtail snapper. That's when they get to be flags. Oh, and I love eating them too. Feel the head shaking down there. Maybe a bar jack. He's, There's some weight pretty, right there. Pretty stubborn. Let's 
straight down. We'll put this down here for now. Got the big one there. What do we got? It's a good head shaking. Real good head shake. Uh, I think you got I think you got the man there. <laughs> I haven't seen the sharks yet. They usually come up behind the boat. We might still give them a shot. I know these they might are... be eating tuna today. <laughs> they might be eating tuna. Yeah. I don't blame them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is, straight down. Big zero. You put a hurting on those off. There's a big zero. Big zero. Look at his eyes. That's almost like a kingfish. Uh, let me get the gaff here. Wow. Man, you got a big cereal mackerel on there. I guess this is going to get the stick, too. This huh? one's going to get the stick. This one's got some nice steaks on it. Oh, steak master. <sighs> well, he sure fought more like a like a bar jack. But look at, this, look at the waist. Look at the shoulders of that fish. All right, here he comes to you. That's a big cereal. Man, now that's, that is that's a zero that's there, a zero. brother. That's more like a kingfish. You're right. Woo. There you go, buddy. He's yours. All right. What did he go? About 12? About 12 pounds. Man, what a fish. That's got to be the biggest zero that's I've ever a heck of a zero, yeah. Well, today's my first day of catching zeros. What I thought was zeros maybe in Canaveral could have been... Uh, they don't usually or... get that far up, up north. Uh, it's a warm water mackerel. I know in the summertime off Patrick Air Force Base yeah, we they get, get them. Yeah, they get them yeah, up there, yeah. What a pretty fish. Mackerel. Zero mackerel. Nick Melanofsky. Give him a shot here at Key West to put you on these things. We've been on them all day and having a ball. My arm's about to fall off and I think he's gonna try to hook me up with something bigger, but I ain't gonna talk him out of it. I'm about beat catching these things all day. What a fish. Yeah. Give it a shot. Catch our show on the World Wide Web, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, anywhere on the planet at AddictiveFishing.com. Well, I asked for it, I got it. No Mogan shark. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I don't know what I'm in for now or how long. What's the time this sucker? We're coming up on quarter to two in the afternoon. <laughs> We're gonna see what this guy will do to us here for a little while. Hour, hour and a half maybe. <clears throat> Not sure what we have on here. We changed up the strategy just a little bit. We put on a put on a great big blue runner on this on the big rod. Gonna see what we got here. I have no idea what it is. Could be a big AJ, could be a big shark. It's big, whatever it is, I tell you that. Oh! Hey, that's why they call it fishing and not catching. Well, I wanna thank y'all for tuning in today. It's the middle of winter. We had to kind of pick our day to come out here. The ocean's a little bit rough. And down here in Key West, you got all the little reefs that pop up like this and you usually find some good cover to get out of the big waves if you get a little seasick and just have a ball that's what we did today i hope you enjoyed it y'all tune in next week for addictive fishing and when you come down to the keys give nick here a call he'll definitely put you on the fish all day long appreciate y'all tuning in take care see you next week there he is yeah buddy ah, what a hookup now that's a fish there brother <laughs> Man, what a powerful little fish. <laughs>